After 14 seasons with the New England Patriots, they have decided to release kicker Steven Gostkowski. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar and Mike Petralia, guys. He obviously was on injured reserve in the 2019 season. He underwent that hip surgery for a lingering issue, but this release is not expected to be injury related, more so to save money against the cap. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Sierra, $4.8 million, and that's uh, quite a bit of change for a kicker and quite a bit of space that the Patriots are going to be able to use and need to use uh, to bulk up some uh, other spots uh, on the uh, roster, namely, I think, tight end, where uh, the Patriots could be very active, wide receiver, uh, and certainly in the linebacking core. Yeah, absolutely. Gaskowski, the next five drops, right, Sierra? I mean, we just keep on losing guys left and right here. So now Matthew Slater is the longest tenured Patriot as we've lost Brady and Gaskowski in the same offseason. I think the Patriots, yes, I was told as well that this is not injury-related, that this is a cap situation, a cap maneuver for the Pats. And Gaskowski's plan as of right now is still to kick in the 2020 season, just not for New England. So he's going to become an immediate free agent. He can be signed by any team at that point in time. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him land elsewhere as long as that hip is, in fact, intact but it was a lingering issue with the hip and I think last October when that news broke there was a little bit of murmurs going on that maybe this could be career ending so I am a little bit surprised that it isn't completely injury related or at least a tiny bit injury related but we got to go with what we're told at this time and obviously 2019 was a little bit of uncharted territory for the Patriots because Koskowski has brought unbelievable consistency to this team for the 13 seasons prior to that. So where do the Patriots go from here? Nick Folk is a free agent. Do you think that's the best option for them right now? Evan? Well, Nick Folk, it's funny because Folk was pretty solid for them last year. I mean, Mike Nugent comes in as a complete disaster. Folk came in and kind of righted the ship a little bit. Now, with that being said, there were a few instances where Belichick punted in a couple of fourth down scenarios where I think he would have liked to kick in an ideal situation. So I don't know how much he actually trusted Folk, but Folk was 16 for 19, made all 13 of his extra points. But if you look ahead at this move, it just from a cap perspective, it does kind of lean towards them drafting a kicker at some point on day three. And this is a good draft for kickers, believe it or not. I know that that's kind of funny to think about, but there's actually a couple of different NFL kickers in this draft. Rodrigo Blake Blankenship from Georgia is going to be the big name that everybody's going to talk about. But also Taylor Bass from Georgia Southern, same state, different college, is also a pretty solid kicking prospect as well. So there are four or five kickers at the Combine, which is pretty unheard of. There's a lot of them there this year. So the NFL and the league really likes this kicking class. So maybe Belichick has his eye on one of those guys. I think it's also important to note the success that uh, the Patriots and Belichick have had in the draft, uh, drafting punters, specialists. And uh, he hasn't had to really draft a place kicker. But in Jake Bailey, you have a guy that not only punts, but uh, is very good on kickoff. So he showed that toward uh, the latter part of the season when uh, Steven Guskowski was out uh, actually for the, you know, pretty much the last half of 2019. There's a kicker out of Miami of Ohio uh, getting a shout out for my daughter, Janie. Sam Sloman, keep an eye on him. Uh, he is also uh, one of the kickers expected to go uh, somewhere in this 2020 draft. Uh, and uh, certainly uh, a, a Mac connection Bill Belichick is very, very familiar with, the cradle of coaches. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked to see uh, Belichick dip into those waters uh, like he did with, uh, obviously, Julian Edelman out of Kent State. Uh, so that's a possibility as well. But it, on a s more serious note, it's uh, important to remember just how successful Belichick and the Patriots have been uh, in drafting specialists the last couple of years. It's also just been a seamless transition from kicker to kicker, right? You go from Vinatieri to this Goskowski. That's a big shoes to fill if you're Goskowski coming in and replacing Adam Vinatieri. And they seamlessly transition from one to the other. They had kind of like a Montana to Steve Young pass off here at the kicker position. Hopefully they'll get the same luck with the quarterback position. But I think that if you look at that spot, other than quarterback on the roster in the 20 years that Belichick has been here, it's been the most stable position for the Patriots on this team. 
We'll continue to keep you updated on all the Patriots moves and start to preview that upcoming NFL draft on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.